You're watching Daily Dish. Glad you're watching The Dish, everybody, because we're talking about soup and art. What a great combination. What more could you want to support a good cause? Joining me now for more about the Community Nursing Services Art and Soup Charity event in this sponsored interview is Rob Chipman. He's one of the featured artists that will be at the event. And we have Susie Daly. She's the owner of Grounds for Coffee. Susie, can I start with you? Sure. You've been part of this for two decades. Tell us why it's important. It is important to us. Community Nursing Services provides one of the only um, free or low cost hospice care programs and they do it in such a wonderful way um, at a time when people really need it. So it's something that we've been through personally and um, just feel like it, it, you know, it's just something that we really want to support and we have been for 20 years. Community Nursing Service is such a big part of our community and they do incredible things and it takes money to do those things. It so does. that's why you're part of it. Can you describe the event for people that haven't been before? Sure, it's wonderful. It's two of my favorite things, which is food and art. Amen. And um, they have a variety, many, many artists in different mediums and um, you go through and you go from artist booth to artist booth looking at the different artwork and then um, in between you can stop and sample soups from area restaurants and um, it's just a wonderful combination it uh, is a great supports a great cause and you have a lot of fun in doing it. Don't you think it's brilliant to bring those two things together? Yes. 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 Rob, you were looking at some of the art and some of the artists as we've been talking. You are a featured artist this time. It's your I first am. year. I'm what does honored. that mean to you? Well, being my, my first year at Art and Soup, I, I attended last year and loved the event and loved the cause and uh, so I submitted an application and was uh, kind of overwhelmed to be chosen as the featured artist. So uh, I'm delighted to be there and be there with so many other uh, talented artists and their wonderful work. About Talk about some 60. of your, oh, si yes, yeah. 60 different artists yeah. and you are one of them. Talk about your work. What are we looking at? Well, I do kind of a, a strange, obscure form of art called reduction block prints where these images, the colors are laid down layer after layer using a, a block like this. This is the final stage of uh, this block and ink is applied, put on the paper and each one er ends up in, a, in a, an original work of art that uh, um, is a limited edition because I couldn't print any more if I wanted to. What's so cool everybody is you can go and talk to Rob about it. The artists are there by their pieces. I've gone several years in a row and it's so fun to always go and say, tell me about this and tell me about what you've created. I bet you look forward to that. Oh, absolutely. All the artists look forward to interacting with the uh, uh, guests that come and love get, having their art seen and, and especially sold. <laughs> All right, there's not just food, but there is drink. Right. Tell us what you're putting together right. for us. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make cold brew at okay. home. We won't have cold brew at the event because um, we just do hot, but um, I kind of wanted to do it for a couple of reasons. One, summer is on the way. And then you promise? I, I know, okay. today you wouldn't know it, but it is gonna be here and it's gonna be a wonderful beverage at that time. Um, also, I find that people have a hard time replicating drinks from their favorite coffee shops. And so the process I'm gonna show you today is exactly what we do in our shop. So if you love our cold brew, there's no reason you wouldn't okay, be able to make it Okay, we have about 30 seconds, okay. dive in. How do we, we do it? We oh. sell these little cold brew kits, but you don't okay. have to do it that way. You just add one cup of um, ground coffee, coarsely ground coffee, mm -hmm. into, the, um, into the jar, and you pour the coffee, the water, in through there, um, take it, you know, put it all in, steep it for 12 to 24 hours. Okay. And, and then after that time, you just pull the sock out and that's what you have. You okay, will you pour us up some yeah, while sure. I tell everyone when the event is happening, Susie from Grounds for Coffee, she's the owner, she'll be there, Rob will be there with all of those artists, dozens of artists, Community Nursing Services. This is their fundraiser at the Salt Palace Convention Center, March 29th and 30th. Look at the times on your screen. We'll also put those on our website, abc4.com slash daily dish. But make sure you go and support the Art and Soup Charity event. And thanks again to Community Nursing Services for sponsoring that interview. Are we ready? Yep. Cheers to both of you. Thank and you. And thank you for being part of that event. Saray, over to you. What a wonderful event and also a great cause.